In a nostalgic nod to Saturday morning cartoons, Bugs Bunny and friends arrive at Upcountry History Museum. We have Kristen Pace here. She's the education and program manager at the Upcountry History Museum. Kristen, always good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. And we were talking about how uh, cartoons are just such an iconic part of growing up and in, in your pajamas, eating all the cereal and watching all the cartoons. And you guys are paying homage to that with a great exhibit. Yes, so it just opened not too long ago. It's gonna be here through May, but yes, you can come out. There's over 160 pieces from celluloid, transparent celluloid, to backgrounds <laughs> to, I mean, it's every part of the animation process. So what, what age can, can experience this and what types of things are we talking about? Are they posters, are they books, are they games? It's a lot of drawings, sketchings, mm -hmm. cartoons. Um, there's no interactives with this particular exhibition that's coming this summer, um, but we've had all ages already from like two year olds to 90 year olds. So. And, and I was asking you, I was like, do kids even get how iconic that is of, of like, you know, watching these cartoons as a kid because they have access to so many Everything. different things right now. <laughs> uh, but you said they still know the characters. They do. They come in wearing Tweety Bird. <laughs> they know. They know Bugs Bunny. Yeah. They know Bugs Bunny. Yeah. They know Tweety Bird and all these characters. Um, so what, what do people, what do you think that they learn from an exhibit like this? Uh, just for this particular exhibition to learn that animation process of where now things are just so automatic. The graphic design is just put it in the computer. This is detailed, drawing every single character and their movement. You get to see that process of 10,000 different slides of Daffy Duck moving for what, like a five, ten minute <laughs> film. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I think a lot of them probably didn't understand how that, that happens. Their thing is so advanced now with the way animation works. But to see how it was so meticulous back then and took so much time to make these characters really come to life is really, yes. it's really great. And that goes through uh, May 29th? Yes, you are correct. You got it. May 29th, the art of Warner Brothers cartoons at the Upcountry History Museum. You guys also just opened an, an exhibition which is quite spectacular. Uh, tell me about the Selma exhibit. So it's Witness to History, Witness to History, Selma March um, by Stephen Summerstein. He is a mm -hmm. New York City student, 24 years old. He heard about the march in Selma. Uh, he heard about the first two days of the march, and then he decided he took a bus down to Selma and completed that last day of the march, and he had just the cameras around his neck, a few rolls of film, but fantastic And they're photographs. black and white photos? Yes, most of them. There are a few colored um, in images, but most is black and white I mean, what a, an amazing, amazing like testament and, you know, witness to history. Yes. Because, I mean, that's what it's, it's, it's all about. So what are you hoping people learn from that? Obviously, right now we're on the, you know, the end of Black History Month, but obviously that uh, understanding and, and, you know, talking about uh, black history is, is a part of uh, everyday Absolutely. conversation, American history. Yes, we want to incorporate also Greenville Civil Rights Movement because mm -hmm. everything that was happening here in the 1960s affected the country. And so to learn the full story of that, of seeing Greenville and then moving right over to the national story, it's incredible. Yeah, and I think that's such an important conversation. We try, you know, of course everyone pays attention to it on uh, February, the month of February, but it's something that goes, should go on day after day after day, and you guys make it accessible to folks. So now is a great time for folks to have their family have that family pass. Uh, tell us what we need to do to sign up for that and why that is so important to you guys. So there are so many different options. You can do um, a family membership at the museum. Also, if you are part of the Greenville County Library System, you can check out the family pass that they have there. And so just check it out, come in the museum, return it, and then you can be really in rotation easy. for next month. So yeah. we, we no longer have any excuses to not know something about something. We all have access to be able to learn more about Greenville history and, and how it impacted the larger the larger world. So um, what are your hours? Are you open all week or? We are open Sunday 1 to 5 p.m. and Tuesday through Saturday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you guys get a day off. Like we today. do. Well, we're in the we're in the You're building. in there, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, you guys get a day off from us, which is great. <laughs> you can always go to upcountryhistory.org to find out more information about these two exhibits that we talked about and all of the other um, things that they have going on at the museum. If you're looking for something to do with the kids, it's a great stop. Thank you so much for being Thank here and so telling us about it. Sounds great.